Coffee tasting is not about putting down into words. It is about expressing. You start understanding the tools that you are working out with. Be it the coffee grinder, be it the weighing scale, be it espresso machines. You'll be dealing with a lot of kettles. You'll be dealing with the refractometer, the density meter, moisture meter. You'll have softwares like Cropster and Ikawa and tons of other things. So you need to know everything about that in and out, and of course also know about the green means that you're dealing with, about the extractions, about all these numbers. me to the next point that bookkeeping becomes super important you should be starting your journal right from the first day and it is not about publishing your journal but it is your own personal experience so your journal could be about what coffee did you taste what tasting notes it had what is the altitude it had what is the process the story behind it where it came from when was it roasted all the information brings me to the next very very super important point is coffee tasting is not about putting down into words it is about expressing it is about first understanding the coffee deciphering it experiencing it and then you express it so don't pressurize yourself if your notes and the tasting notes of the roasting bag roasted coffee bag does not match that is not really the point it is about you describing the coffee more efficiently just learning your tasting notes or your smelling skills while you are at your job or at your work but at the same time be that person in a random hotel when you're with your friends where you are just not gobbling down the food but you're breaking down that each and every bite and experiencing and trying to irritate the other person in front of you by telling them this is that sweet this is that much sugar you should have this much of salt and all these things important point would be you need to know about the five basic tastes umami sweet salt sour and bitter you need to know about these five elements of tasting right from the first day be open have an open experience do not get bogged down by the things that are written online or something it is about your tongue tells and your nose knows so trust your palate and keep building it up every single day Another point that I would like to mention as a consolation point would be as a coffee professional you need not just have coffee as your beverage to improve your skills of tasting and smelling but you can use your day to day vegetables your fruits your grocery store just go around the aisle just keep smelling random stuff pick it up smell it experience it don't put down in words as i said earlier just try to put it in a descriptive manner just put it in a descriptive manner <laughs> Just put it in a descriptive manner. That is more important for you to understand. Shit, the dinosaur wasn't completely visible through the screen. Yeah. Right. These are some of the tips that I uh, experienced it myself, and I would like to tell it, share it with you. But at the same time, I would like to hear from you guys in the comment section below as to what and what are the practices that you do to improve your coffee tasting skills. So write down in the comment section below and we'll be happy to interact on the same. So thanks for watching your entire video. Uh, it is great to be a part of this video is what the dinosaur says. Hit the subscribe button, share it and like it as well. We're coming up with a lot of more videos and we would like to hear from you. So keep messaging, keep replying, keep watching the videos. Thank you for watching again. Cheers. Bye.